Hello everyone. Welcome to Nick IT Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to install Oracle database in our Windows machine. If you follow these three steps, you can able to install Oracle database in your Windows machine very easily. Before going to do the installation, I will explain the setup so that it will be very easy to understand. And if any issues, you can able to solve it. So Oracle is a database. So that database we are going to install here. So we do have different versions. So in this session, we are going to install Oracle 11G Express Edition database. Oracle has many versions. The latest version is 21C. In order to practice our SQL, Oracle 11G itself is more than enough. It is a very lightweight software. You can install any machines without any issues. So Oracle is a database. In this database, we can have a different schema. So schema is nothing but a subset of our database based on the different objects. So one single schema will have different objects like a views, tables, and synonym sequences, indexes, and everything. So if you look at this particular picture, here we have three schemas in one single database. So by default, Oracle 11G will have a schema called system schema. It is nothing but admin schema. So in real time project, only DBAs will have access to this particular schema. They will create other schema and other users. They will manage it other schema and other users. They will manage all the database related activities. In this 11G database, by default, we do have a schema called HR schema. It's a human resource schema. You can use this particular schema to create all the tables. For an example, for this system schema, we are going to use username as system and password we are going to have as admin. So this is the password you can enter while installing the software so that it will be easy to remember. Then HR schema, we can have the username as HR and password as HR. And we can create n number of schema here. For an example, if you want to create one more schema for practice, yes, you can create a schema called core schema or test schema or any other schema. So here I'm going to create a schema called core and username will be core and password will be a core. In real time projects, we do have many schema, many users, and each schema will have different, different objects. You can create a tables here. You can take, you can create a tables here. So if you have access to this particular schema in this schema, you can log in and then you can see all the tables. For an example, by default, Oracle 11G will have the seven tables. The tables are, we have employees tables. We have departments tables. So you can use these tables for the practicing purpose and etc. We have seven tables and here you can create n number of tables. For an example, I want to create my own table, customer table. I want to create, I want to create a product table. Yes, you can create any number of tables. So this is what the database we are going to install and we are going to configure different schema. It's very simple. Don't get confused. I will explain while installing. It's very, very simple. After installing it, you'll be seeing this particular icon. You'll be seeing this, uh, this particular icon in your machine. And this is the database. In order to query this database, we need to have a, a GUI tool, graphical user interface tool. This is nothing but SQL developer. You can have any other tool also. By using these tools, you can create a connection and you can query this particular database. For an example, you can query the system schema. You can query this HR schema. You can query this core schema tables. So this tool, we will call it as SQL developer tool. So we do have a different tools. You heard about the stored for Oracle. Yes, you can use stored for Oracle here and you can use SQL plus you can use. You can use a DB visualizer. So any tools you can use, not an issue. Whatever the tool you are going to use it, the underlying database is one single database. 
I hope you are clear. As a first step, download the software from the description. Once downloaded, you'll be having this zip, zip file. You can unzip the file. You'll be having this particular folder. See, right click on this particular software. Once we have, we have given right click and extract to this particular folder. If you do not have WinRAR in your machine, go to Google WinRAR download and go to this particular link and click on download WinRAR. So this is the authorized software only, no need to worry about it. And click on download WinRAR, it will get downloaded. Once downloaded the exe file, you can click on it and then install it. It's a very simple step. Since I have already installed, I'm not doing it again. You can install it. So first we are installing this in WinRAR or WinZip if you have, then you can use it. Right click on this, go to extract. So once extracted, you'll be having this particular folder. Double click on this folder. Click on this Oracle, this folder, go to disk one. Double click on the setup file. Click on yes, then it will be preparing to install. This is a page you will be getting it. This is the Oracle database 11G Express Edition. Click on next. Accept the license and terms and conditions. Click on next here. So here, this is what the destination for where it should be installed. Click on next year, no need to do anything. So this is the admin password for the user sys or system. So we have to carefully choose this. So always make sure that you are remembering the password. The enter password, I'm giving like admin. Password as admin, confirm password as admin. Click on next, click on install. It will get installed. It will take five to 10 minutes of time, depends on your system speed. We will wait for it. Once installed, then we'll go for the next system. Once installation completed, we'll be getting this particular wizard. Click on finish. We have installed Oracle database and we will configure the connection in SQL developer. Just to go to this SQL developer folder, double click, go to this SQL developer. You can find SQL developer icon. If you want to have this icon in your desktop, just to right click, you can add to start or you can go to show more options and you can create a shortcut or you can create a send to a desktop. Then it will create a shortcut. If you see this, you'll be having this icon in the desktop. So just to double click on the desktop, next time it will open here. Even if you want, you can download the latest version from the net and you can use this SQL developer. So very first time it will take one or two minutes. You can give no. If it is asked any dialog box, you can give no. And you can see here, this is the one you can see. So what we are going to do, so from this SQL developer, we are going to establish the connection through SQL developer. We are going to create a connection to this system schema and we will unlock the HR schema. Very first time, the HR schema will be unlocked state. We will unlock it and we will create a new schema called core and you can use this schema for creating any number of tables. Just to open this SQL developer, you'll be seeing this page and this is the green color icon. Just click on this icon. Connection name, you can give any name. Just I'm going to give connection name is admin. User name will be system. The password is whatever the password I have given while installing. You can see here, password I have given as admin. So this is the user name for system user and this is the password. Just you can mention this system and admin and you'll be having a host name, port number and SID. Don't change this. In your real time project, you'll be getting the details from your DBA or your from your team members. By using that, you can connect. Just to click on test. It should be tested success. You can click on connect. So that means through SQL developer, we have established the connection from SQL developer to system schema. So very first time a HR schema will be unlocked state. We have to unlock it. How to unlock? You can execute this particular statement. I have given the statement in the description just to take that and use it. Alter user username HR identified by 
password is HR account unlock. Make sure that you are running this particular statement in this admin schema. Just execute. The HR schema will get altered. We have unlocked it. Then click on this plus symbol. Name you can give HR schema. Username will be HR and password will be HR. You can refer this particular picture. This is a schema name, username and password. These are all the tables. You can test it. It should be tested success. Click on connect. It will get connected. And if you open this HR schema manually, you can see the different objects, right? Tables, views, indexes, packages, everything. If you click on the tables, you can find a different tables here. So in your system, you might be seeing a seven tables like employees, departments, all this. If you want to manually check, you can click on this table. Yes, you can check the data and data model and constraints. All this you can able to check here. You can close it. And we are going to create one more schema, right? We have to create one more schema called core. Just you can use create user core. This is the user schema, okay? Identified by core. This is what you can create a new schema. Just you can execute it. A new schema will be created. New user will be created after that. You can use, you have to provide the permissions. You can use grant, connect, comma, resource to core. So this is what you can use and just execute this. You have to execute this one and you have to execute. Then it will get executed, these two statement. I have given these three statement in the description. Make use of this. Then you can click on the plus symbol. Then you can use the name is core and username is core. Password is core and you can test it. It should be tested success. You can connect. So we have created all this connections. So you can create any tables here. For an example, I want to create a table in this particular HR schema or core schema. So you can create it. So create table, table name. I want to create a table called product. So just you can open it. Product ID, it's a number data type. If you want, you can give the constraints, product name. So just I'm creating with only two columns. The same way you can create n number of tables and see here the product has been created. The table has been created. So you can check the description. I have given all the SQL videos, watch it and you can able to do the Oracle installation and start practicing it. And if you have any queries, you can post it on the comments. I will respond to it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel, Please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting all the notifications. Thank you.